Hey guys, Danny Alvarez here for SoFonies.com, bringing you the latest news and views that you can use. Once more, guys, I'm telling you, T-Mobile is just uh, making us cringe with uh, excitement this time, of course. Uh, and it's just been over and over and over again. It's just unrelenting slaps against the face of all the other carriers. It's just amazing. What's happening next is not only is T-Mobile giving you one Samsung Galaxy Note 8 when you buy one, and then they give you a 360 for each, well, now that you're downloading and uploading all these photos, you need some data, right? Well, you know, all of the data plans are unlimited on T-Mobile. But what you might not have known is that T-Mobile actually prioritizes data of the mainstream or all of their users until they reach a 32 gigabyte maximum. After you breach that 32 gigabyte maximum, if you are in an area where the tower is uh, limited in terms of the, you know, the availability of connection per a uh, certain demographic of, of users, then they may deprioritize you, which means they prioritize the other's connections uh, before yours in order to be able to to uh, avail the, the connection and have a better experience, as the, that's the way they sell it, a better experience for all the other users. And it's true. If too many users uh, are on a tower and it drags everything down for some reason because one person's hogging up a lot of bandwidth, uh, or a demographic of users is doing that, then it may make things difficult for the network. So that's the way they manage it, is by using a deprioritization method, which means once you get out of the range of that tower and go into another neighborhood or the next tower catches you and the other tower doesn't have as many people on it, you go right back up to 4G LTE speeds, which for the most part, if you're driving through town or something like that, you may experience a little slowdown in certain areas, and I've just noticed that very, very few areas uh, in which you get actually deprioritized. Well, T-Mobile has just announced that they're going to raise that threshold to 50 gigabytes uh, per month. So 50 gigabytes. And of course, at the end of your billing period, that uh, threshold gets closed down and, uh, you know, re reset, if you will, and you're able to use uh, another 50 gigabytes. Now, I've never gone over, I believe, 38 gigabytes maybe 40. So 50 gigabytes includes power users like myself that love watching high quality content video, uh, that like Periscope, that like streaming video, that just, that uploads and downloads, you know, gigabytes of, uh, of videos and, and photos. So guys, John Ledger's just knocking out of the park. He's ticking off a lot of people in at and uh, over in uh, Sprint and Verizon, of course, is being left in the dust in terms of network coverage in terms of what they offer, nobody at this time can beat T-Mobile. For Sophonias.com and for the Sophonias YouTube channel, this is Danny Alvarez, checking out.